Hey guys, so some of you were asking me um, how I went about using my Copic markers with my Prismacolor pencils. With my, with my Prismacolor pencils. I honestly just started doing this, so I'm not a pro on it. I don't know a lot about Copic markers. I think I have like 20 now, which is a huge amount to me, but I've, I haven't had enough to actually like try out a lot of stuff, so I'm only doing what I know works decently and also I was inspired by Juicy Ink. Um, I'll put a description or I'll put a link to her um, to her channel in the description below, but she was kind of the one who inspired me to try using these Prismacolors, um, the erasable ones with the Copics and I really 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 like it so thank you so much for that Tori. I am in love with this technique. I'm just going to start and I'm gonna do what I have been doing the best that I know how to do it so you Copic marker pros out there might find that I'm doing things wrong but I, I honestly am just doing the, this the only way that I know how to so, so yeah. I shall get started. I did the original sketch with the Prismacolor erasable pencil and it's really awesome because they erase super well and they also blend too, um, I've noticed. So that's pretty awesome. And uh, they're crazy cheap. I think this was, let's see here. I think this was like 70 something cents or something ridiculous like that. Um, I think, I'm not gonna say for sure, but pretty sure that's what they were. Oh, I hate when they put stickers on them. Anywho, so yeah, I did the original sketch with this and then, um, let's see, let's, let's do some actual coloring here. You guys see that good enough? It's not too much shade. So yeah, then I just went in, colored everything. And I'll let you guys know what paper I'm using here in a sec. So I like to try and break the body up in parts and sections because I don't know if it's going to leave lines or if it will all blend together or not. So I always try and leave it in sections and I think it's okay for there to be a little bit of a line. Um, so yeah, I do that. and. I kind of go over the lines a little bit because it makes, it seems to make the pencil line blur a little bit, which I think is kind of cool. Um, so I'm actually going to go up here and do that because I didn't do that up there. And then what I've been doing, and correct me if I'm wrong, um, I've been going in with this here color, which is our 11 Pale Cherry Pink and the other color I used was BG10 Cool Shadow. And uh, so what I did was I just go in and do some of the places where I think there would be pinks and such. Like I usually do the fingertips, um, the elbows and the shoulders. Cause I really like that look and um, some pink down in her crotchal area because why not and then there are times too where I'll just go over it with blue again and it kind of seems to blend it together a little bit more but that's just me I could be wrong could all be in my head who knows what so I also grabbed a purple um, called Wisteria and it is V20 and that's what I've been using for this particular drawing to do a lot of the shadows. <clears throat> and honestly like I don't know how to make a perfect blend in between two colors like I'm still trying to figure out how to do that so um, I'm not gonna show how I do that yet because I'm probably doing it completely wrong to be honest. 
Um, I've just been trying to kind of like feather the colors together. And then I've basically just been layering the pencil on top of the, um, the Copic after because the uh, Copics will kind of blend the, the color pencil out of the drawing, which is kind of strange, but pretty awesome. I like the effect of it. And then yeah, I just I go in and do the details with the pencil afterwards. And it seemed to be a pretty cool effect, I think. Um, I like it. And go in and see, this is the only way that I really know how to blend the two together at this moment in time. So, I don't know. If you guys know a better way, let me know. Right now, this is just how I'm doing it. I grabbed one of the blender markers and I still am like, I, I tried using it and I'm still kind of confused with how to use it. The colorless blender, there we go. Um, I've just been using it kind of as highlights because it seems to push away a lot of the color that's around it. So yeah, I think after I'm done this whole drawing. I'm gonna go in and I'll probably just go in and do the highlights with my white jelly roll pen. I think I'll speed it up and record the rest of it for you guys if you'd like to see. So um, hopefully the lighting in here is good enough. And let us begin. Thank you. 
that is pretty much it. I think I am finished. I'm just gonna do a couple of the last details here. Now I'm using my Jelly Roll pen to add the finishing touches. It doesn't really show up that well when, like right after you apply it, but eventually it, it turns white. I don't think I'm going to use a whole lot of it because I kind of like the effects that I have now. But I'll use a little bit of it. Use it on the eyes here. The nostril. Nostril. And use it on ear. I think that's probably good enough. So that pretty much concludes this video. Um, I'm sorry I didn't start from the beginning. Like I said, um, nobody really asked about it until after I posted the pictures on Instagram. So I figured I would just catch the last bits of it. But uh, yeah, so for a lot of the video, the colors are kind of off from what they actually look like just because of all the white. Um, but they do, it does look kind of like this in person, but a little bit lighter. Actually, I can say a lot lighter still. It's very pastel, very, um, very light. And, uh, oop, I didn't do that entire piece of the hair. Anyways, I gotta run, so I won't be able to record that last bit, but I will be posting this, the finished piece, up on Instagram, and she will be going for sale, uh, maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow, I'm not sure. Um, by the time this is posted, she'll, she'll be up on my site as prints and possibly the original if she hasn't sold. So yeah, thanks guys for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And uh, I hope you have an awesome day.